So let me start off by saying that this story isn't the easiest to tell, probably because there's a part of me that's not 100% at peace with it, but everything I do, I do to inspire those that have had or are going through a tough time. I grew up with an atheist father and a mother that believed that everything happens for a reason, so grown up I had never been to church. Until I was 15, a friend at school invited me to go to a non-denominational Christian youth group and by God, I needed some friends. And this happened in an era of my life where hormones were flying about, High School Musical came out, and I could not stop fantasizing about Zac Efron. <sighs> you too? And with all that going on, I started to learn about God, Jesus, Christianity, which then led to me being part of the congregation. And going to church on Sundays, I realized that my life sucked. I wasn't baptized, my whole family were going to hell, and my love for Zac Efron was an abomination. But God, I love him. I mean, look at him. You understand, right? For the next six years, I had built up a relationship with the church. I even tried to save my little brother and sister's soul by taking them to Sunday school, and I volunteered everywhere I could, thinking that all these good deeds would cover up the fact that I was a sodomite, and God might let my family into the golden gates of heaven because of all the good I had done here. Fast forward to the age of 21, and I went over to America to work for a very famous mouse. And while I was there, I must have absorbed too much pixie dust because I flew out that closet as quick as you can say Mickey. So there I was, floating on a cloud of pride for who I was, my family loved and accepted me, I could love whoever I want to know, oh my God, I'm gonna have to tell the church. <laughs> So I was open and honest and one person ended our friendship. Another said that I had a life of celibacy to look forward to and the head pastor said that I should ask God for a wife and that the choice I've made is not a great one. Choice? What choice? At that time, I would have chosen to be straight. I would also like to tell you that I grabbed my rainbow fan and I sashayed the hell away out of there, but I didn't. So a year later, I'm sitting in church on a Sunday and I'm listening to a sermon about how women should not preach in church and should stay silent in the house of God by a female pastor. Are you for real? I was done, I couldn't take it anymore. The hypocrisy, the judgment, the denial for my love for Zac Efron, the way that people cherry picked Bible verses that they liked, but ignored the ones that made them out to be sinners. Because if we were to follow the Bible down to a T, we're all sinners. Genesis 38, 10, he wasted his seed on the ground in order not to give offspring to his brother, which is displeasing in the sight of the Lord. So that means no more love with a glove or special you time. Leviticus 19, 19, you shall not wear a garment upon two kinds of material mixed together. So if you shop at Primarni, you're goosed. Divorce, horoscopes, wearing gold, letting people into church without testicles, it goes on and on. God, I hope hell's got Wi-Fi. So I walked out of the church that day and never returned. My religion these days, I would say I'm more spiritual spiritual. I don't believe in an old man in a cloud and I especially don't believe in a 2,000 year old book that is somehow still accurate today. Now I know this all comes across passive aggressive but it's not the church that I hate. It's the ancient judgmental teachings that I've got a problem with. Churches have done amazing things for charities, make people feel like they're part of a community like I did and give people comfort. So if you're watching this and you believe that you are wrong because of the teachings of an old book that didn't fall out of the sky, it was written by a bunch of men, then don't. If there is a God, you were made pretty freaking fabulous. No matter whether you're gay, bi, lesbian, trans, straight, no matter how you identify. And as for Zac Efron, well, me and him have a deeply loving relationship. He just doesn't know it yet. You're fine the way you are.